As a natural born beast, I have an affinity with animals which borders on the telepathic. But there have been times when we've crossed on the wrong path. On one such occasion, I chinned a goat. I was living in allotment in Hemsworth at the time, in a cramped old trailer I had found in Forkston. I think he'd been nicked by a gypsy. You may well ask what the hell I was doing living in a trailer or an allotment site on the edge of town. The truth is, I just had an almighty row with a wife. We later divorced, and I needed to get away on my own for a while until things had calmed down. I was as happy as pig in muck in that trailer until the goat from hell began spoiling my party. The little bugger, who lived on a plot of land next to where I'd parked the trailer, was keeping me awake at night with his constant braying and butting off this fence outside my pad. I put up with it for so long, until the end, there was only one thing for it, the goat would have to be disciplined. One Sunday afternoon, the damn swine was driving me bonkers, he just wouldn't stop butting the fence, which was only a yard from the trailer. That was it, the red mist had descended, and the beast was back in town. I stormed out with the trailer in just my underpants and bounded over to where the goat was sticking his nut in the fence. Surprisingly, he didn't seem overly concerned about the raging beast heading his way and give me a look as if to say, yeah. And what the fuck do you want, pal? Bam! I clobbered Billy Goat with an almighty Joseph and a left screamer that left him in a crumbled mess on the turf. He went down with a thud and was struggling to get back up. When he finally managed to get back on his hoofs, the legs turned to putty and he just fell straight back down. He was so weak on his legs that he looked like one of those newborn lambs taking the first wobbly steps and after leaving the womb. I regretted what I had done instantly, so I stood by his side for what seemed like ages until he came round. When I was satisfied I hadn't done Billy Goat with any permanent damage, I patted him on the head and went back inside the trailer to get some kip. But I felt so bad about what I'd done, I just couldn't drop off. And when I did finally manage to nod off, I dreamt about Goat's Head Soup. So out of order that, hitting a goat.